Top 5 Light Tanks Number 5. K21-105 The K21-105 is a new light tank. The K21-105 is basically a South Korean K21 infantry fighting vehicle fitted with a Belgian CMI Defense CTCV-105 HP 2-man turret. This combination provides significant direct fire capability, based on relatively light and mobile chassis. The K21-105 is cheaper and more strategically and tactically mobile comparing with main battle tanks. The K21-105 is being referred as medium tank by its developers. However this armored machine weights around 25 tons. By current standards it is rather a light tank. The main role of this tank is to support infantry. It is effective against armored and soft skin vehicles, buildings and fortifications. Also it has secondary anti-tank capability. Composite materials were extensively used in the hull design in order to save weight wherever possible. The front arc provides protection against 30mm armor-piercing rounds. All-round protection is against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds and artillery shell splinters. This light tank is armed with a fully stabilized 105mm rifled low recoil gun. It can fire newly developed smart ammunition. Maximum range of fire is 4 km. This tank is also compatible with Falaric 105 gun-launched anti-tank missiles. The Falaric 105 penetrates no less than 550 mm behind explosive reactive armor. Maximum range of fire is 5 km. This tank has a bustle-mounted automatic ammunition loading system. Maximum rate of fire is 8 rounds per minute. The gun can be elevated to 42 degrees. This feature allows to adapt vehicle for urban and mountainous warfare. Indirect range of fire is up to 10 kilometers. There is a coaxial 7.62 mm machine gun. Also a roof-mounted remotely controlled weapon station with 12.7 mm machine gun is optional. This tank has advanced fire control system. It can engage targets both at day and at night. The K21-105 is operated by a crew of three. Vehicle is powered by a turbocharged diesel engine, developing 750 horsepower. The new tank retains its amphibious capability at full combat weight. Only minimum preparation is required in order to ford water obstacles. Automatic flotation bags are activated before entering the water. On water this tank is powered by its tracks. Number 4. Type 15 or ZTQ-15 The Type 15 weights around 33 to 36 tons, depending on its armor configuration. Mobility and rapid redeployment is the key factor of this new tank. It is intended mainly for reconnaissance and infantry support operations. It can be airdropped and operate in areas, such as mountains, jungles and river regions, that are not accessible to heavier China's main battle tanks, such as the Type 96 and Type 99. This tank has a welded hull and turret. It is fitted with a modular add-on armor kit. Some areas of the hull and turret can be covered with cage armor which provides protection against anti-tank rockets and anti-tank guided missiles. This tank has also got a passive protection system with a laser detector. This system triggers smoke grenade dischargers once the tank is illuminated by a laser beam. This tank is armed with a fully stabilized 105mm rifled gun. The gun has an automatic bustle-mounted ammunition loading system, which allowed to reduce the crew to 3. The Type 15 has an effective firing range of 3 km. This tank can also launch 105mm anti-tank guided missiles in the same manner as ordinary munitions. These extend the effective range to up to 5 km. These missiles pose serious threat to main battle tanks, and can even target low-flying helicopters. A total of 38 rounds in missiles are carried for the main gun. Secondary armament consists of a remotely controlled weapon station, armed with a 12.7mm machine gun and 40mm automatic grenade launcher. There is also a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. Commander uses his panoramic sight to search for targets. Once the target is selected the gun is laid on the target automatically. The Type 15 tank is fitted with a navigation, satellite communication and battlefield management systems. 
This new Chinese tank is powered by a turbocharged diesel engine, developing 1,000 horsepower. Development of this new light tank shows the high level of resources China is devoting towards its rapid deployment and offensive capabilities. Some sources report that by 2022 a total of 250 Type 15 light tanks were built. Number 3. Sprut SDM-1 The Sprut SDM-1 is officially referred in Russia as a self-propelled anti-tank gun or tank destroyer, though it is a light tank by its function. This combat vehicle was specially designed for the Russian airborne forces. This tank is air-portable and can be para-dropped. Furthermore it is fully amphibious. Its main role is to support airborne landing operations. It is intended to engage hostile armor, as well as to support infantry. Even though it was originally designed for the airborne units tank can be also used by naval infantry units. It was planned that mass production of the Sprut SDM-1 could begin in 2022. The Sprut SDM-1 weights just 18 tons. Mobility, rapid redeployment and air transportability are the key factors of this new light tank. Though this comes at a cost of limited armor protection. Its front arc withstands only 12.7 mm round hits. All-round protection is limited to 7.62 mm fire and artillery shell splinters. So protection of this light tank is very weak. Armor protection can be increased with add-on armor. Despite weak armor the Sprut SDM-1 has firepower of a modern main battle tank. It is claimed that in terms of firepower it is comparable to that of Russian T-72 and T-90 series tank. It is armed with a fully stabilized 2A75M 125mm smoothbore gun. In 2022 new programmable ammunition for this tank was introduced. Maximum range of fire is 2 to 2.5 km. There is an automatic ammunition loading system. It allows to have a crew of just 3 men, as there is no need for the loader. The Sprut SDM-1 can launch anti-tank guided missiles in the same manner as ordinary projectiles. This feature is common to all modern Russian tanks. The laser-guided anti-tank missiles are derived from 9M119M1 in VAR-M missile. These have a range of up to 5 km and can also target low-flying helicopters. A total of 40 rounds including missiles are carried for the main gun. The autoloader holds 22 of them. Remaining 18 rounds are stored inside the hull. Typical ammunition load consists of 20 HEFRAG rounds, 14 APFSDS anti-tank rounds and 6 anti-tank guided missiles. This tank has a rate of fire of 7 rounds per minute. There is a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. The Sprut SDM-1 is fitted with additional remotely controlled weapon station, armed with a 7.62mm machine gun. It features new sights from the T-90MS main battle tank. One of the most important improvements is an independent commander sight with thermal vision. It allows to acquire and engage targets faster. Once the tank commander spots a target, it is selected and the gun is laid on the target automatically. The gunner completes all the aiming and firing process. During that time commander looks for the next target. Such engagement method is called hunter killer and is present on all modern main battle tanks. It is powered by a UTD-29 multi-fuel diesel engine, developing 500 horsepower. This light tank has a hydropneumatic suspension with variable height control. Such suspension also the tank to be para-dropped on platforms. It also allows the vehicle to lean in any direction. The Sprut SDM-1 is fully amphibious. On water it is propelled by two water jets. Maximum amphibious speed on water is 7 km per hour vehicle is seaworthy up to sea state 3. Even when afloat it can fire its main gun in limited traverse range. The IL-76 cargo aircraft can carry two of these light tanks. The Sprut SDM-1 can be para-dropped with the crew on board. Number 2. Sabra. The Sabra light tank was developed for the Philippine Army. 
The Sabra tank weighs around 30 to 33 tons depending on the configuration. The length of the tank is 9.5 meters, the width is about 3.64 meters, and the height of the tank is 2.43 meters. A tank is operated by a crew of three. The main armament of the tank consists of an Elbit Systems Land 105mm rifled gun. The vehicle carries a total of 36 rounds of ammunition, with 24 rounds stored in the hull. The tank has a secondary gun type FNMAG 7.62x51mm NATO, which will help the defense crew in close combat. The turret of the tank is for two people and in addition to the 105mm gun, it also has a bustle-mounted autoloader. According to publicly available information, the main 105mm gun will be capable of firing six rounds per minute, with a maximum range of up to 3,600 meters. The gun uses NATO standard ammunition including armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabo, APFSDS, high-explosive squash head, HSH, and high-explosive plastic tracer, HAPT, rounds. The high-explosive multi-purpose tracer, HEMPT, M110 round can also be fired from the 105mm gun. The tank has a maximum power of 720 horsepower provided by a diesel engine. The suspension consists of a torsion bar and Piedrafida rotary dampers models AR01 and AR02. The maximum speed at which the tank will travel is 72 km per hour or 45 miles per hour. Number 1. Griffin 2. General Dynamics to build the new light tank for the US Army. It is planned that first tanks will be delivered by the end of 2023. First unit will be equipped with these tanks in 2025. Previously it was planned that the US Army will acquire a total of 504 of these tanks. The new light tank was designed to provide direct fire support for assaulting infantry. It can destroy hardened positions in buildings and field fortifications. The tank is armed with an M35 105mm low recoil gun. This tank has an advanced fire control system and thermal imaging hardware, which is similar to that of the M1A2 SAP V3 tank. Tank commander uses a panoramic sight with thermal imaging. The tank can detect targets at a range of a whooping 15.4 kilometers, though it can identify them at a range of 4 kilometers. It has a hunter-killer engagement capability. There is a coaxial 7.62 mm machine gun. Another 12.7 mm machine gun is mounted on the turret roof. The turret is of aluminum alloy armor construction. Actually it is called as a scaled-down turret of the Abrams main battle tank. It is equipped with a composite spaced armor in the turret cheeks and add-on armor. Ammunition is stored in the turret bustle and is separated from the crew by blowout panels. The turret rotates faster than on most other tanks. There were reports that the hull of the prototype withstands 30mm rounds on the frontal arc and 14.5mm rounds on the sides. All-round protections is against small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. Though actual level of protection could change on production tanks. A Metrovib Pilar V acoustic gunshot detection system was selected for the MPF light tank. This tank is operated by a crew of four, including commander, gunner, loader and driver. The tank is powered by an MTU MT881 diesel engine, developing 1,100 horsepower engine is located at the front of the hull. It is mated to an Allison automatic gearbox with four forward and two reverse speeds. The tank has a hydropneumatic suspension. The new light tank can be airlifted. A C-17 military transport can carry two of these tanks. Judging by the $1.14 billion low-rate initial production contract for a batch of 96 tanks the unit price of this light tank is nearly $12 million. Most likely that this figure also includes training and some of the servicing costs. Still though this makes it the most expensive tank in the world today. Though unit price should come down eventually when mass production begins. PS. Lynx 120. The vehicle combines a scalable large caliber turret concept and the 120mm armament with the modular chassis of the Lynx KF41, writes Rainmetal. The company sees the LYNX 120 as a suitable complement for users of the LYNX platform with a balanced mix of firepower, mobility, and protection. The modular design of the family concept allows the use of standard components, thus offering weight reduction. 
the vehicle architecture has been simplified and provides an open plug-and-play capability for future upgrades, including protection, while remaining compliant with and potentially compliant with NATO standards, the company emphasizes. The 120mm smoothbore gun is capable of firing the new DM-11 programmable multipurpose ammunition. A 360 degrees camera system with automatic target detection and tracking forms part of the vehicle's sensor fit. Protection modules are available for protection against ballistic threats, improvised explosive devices, explosively formed penetrators and artillery fire. The LYNX-120 will be the first armored vehicle to feature Rain Metal's active defense system as a standard equipment item. Thank you for watching.